So Nier Automata, the end of Yorha edition, is dropping on Nintendo Switch on October 6th, 2022. Now, depending when you're watching this, it may already be October 6th, 2022, and the game might already be released, or it might be 5022. See what I did there? No? Okay, moving on. Huge thanks to Square Enix for providing me with an early copy of this Switch version of this game that again is coming out October 6th. Uh, a lot of people obviously have already played this game. I will preface this by saying I have not. I have never played Nier Automata, but I think that gives me an advantage in this sort of video because I have no bias going into it, right? So I can just give you guys my for my first full raw thoughts and impressions unfiltered without any kind of bias of like oh well i played it on this console or this platform you know previously and so on and so forth uh, i can give you just my straight experience my personal experience and obviously some uh statistical information uh if you will like some exact specs and things like that uh that have already been announced and things like that and so i think like i said i, I got a little bit of a different take on this one because i haven't actually played it before now, if you do want to see my my kind of reaction to the first hour of gameplay, that'll be releasing on the day that the game releases, October 6th, 2022. So be sure to check in for that here on the channel. Also worth noting that on this channel, we typically do Nintendo content, which is why we're talking about this game here, because this is the Nintendo Switch version. Now, if you don't know, it was previously announced that the resolution of this is going to be 1920 by 1080 in TV mode. Uh, and if you're going to play in handheld mode, of course, it's only going to be at 720p because handheld doesn't go higher than 720p um now the frame rate they said is 30 fps when i was playing it it felt pretty smooth um it, it felt pretty good for the most part i had maybe like a couple very small very minor hiccups at certain kind of points throughout my playthrough uh and it wasn't really in the gameplay surprisingly it was kind of like when a cutscene or a transition was happening uh like transitioning in or out of a cutscene. there might have been like a quick little hiccup but it was so minor it's pretty insignificant i just felt that it was worth mentioning because again i'm trying to be as thorough and as transparent at least from my experience as i possibly can now for some people 30 FPS is automatically a turnoff. I get it. You know, a lot of people want the fastest frame rate possible, especially a game like this. It's very quick, you know, fast action paced. That said, um, I didn't fully realize it was in 30 FPS. Most games, I will realize that, you know, it's 30 FPS right from the beginning. And like I said, this is going to be different for everybody, right? Some people are just, you know, super hardcore about this and they can, they can pinpoint one frame difference. Um, and, you know, for the most part, usually I can tell if something's in 30 or 60, but the thing is, it felt like it was running pretty smoothly. Um, and like I said, I hadn't played it previously on any other platform to kind of compare it to. So I kind of went in here just, you know, unfiltered, unbiased and all that. Uh, my experience with it, I played the first just over an hour or so of the game. The first, you know, you know major mission um, and then kind of the sequence right after that and a little bit of the next area following after that. And you're going to see segments and bits and pieces throughout this video in the background um, as we kind of go th and talk through this. Now, of course, I haven't beaten the game, so I can't talk about the entire full game, but this is more of a first thoughts and impressions of it kind of, you know, first hands on. Obviously, near Automata, like I said, lots of action, lots of fast pace. There's a lot of enemies uh, coming at you from different angles. Sometimes there's just a lot going on on screen. And like I said, from my experience, it felt really good and really smooth. Now, that was mostly played in, you know, docked mode on the TV or my monitor rather. Uh, but in handheld mode, it works great as well. Um, so if you, you know, one of the kind of key selling points for the Nintendo Switch is the fact that you can take it with you on the go. And to be able to take near Automata with you on the go is pretty cool. But again, just kind of getting hands on with it, moving on and uh, moving around in handheld. Again, I, I feel like in handheld, I can notice a little bit more that it is 30 FPS uh, as opposed to in, in docked. In docked, it, it felt a little bit smoother than it does in handheld. That doesn't mean that in handheld, it's a bad experience. Uh, it's just that it's more noticeable that it is 30 frames per second um it's still oh you know overall uh a solid experience and it's one that you're not going to really be able to find with you know the playstation platform or the xbox platform uh because uh they don't have handheld devices now there is other handheld devices out there you know that have steam and things like that um but you know that said if you have a nintendo switch already if you're looking for a switch experience uh this is really really great um you know for for from what I could tell. Now, there is the graphics side of things, right? Um, 
obviously the art uh, style in general, it has a very unique art style. And I think because of this sort of art style, they can get away to an extent, they can get away with, you know, the graph, like dumbing down the graphics and the textures on the switch version. Um, and it's still looking pretty solid, right? It's just one of those things, right? You look at a game like, you know, the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, right? It ha has a very specific art style and the game is gorgeous. Um, because, you know, again, it's not always, you know, hyper realism or hi hyper realism or you know uh photo uh what is a photo like realism or whatever uh that always matters in games right every game has different different art styles um now you know do are the textures and the uh the, you know the visuals as sharp as other platforms no and you're gonna say well how do you know that i thought you didn't play the other platforms no i didn't but i did watch a little bit of gameplay to compare my experience uh and what i was seeing on my switch with what other people recorded on other platforms just to kind of see. Um, and yeah, it is obviously evident that on other platforms it's gonna be sharper and crisper. Um, but like I said, overall, it looks pretty solid on the Switch, in my opinion. Um, you know, it, again, it's a Switch port. If you've played any third party, you know, Switch port, um, you, you kind of get the gist of it by now, right? Uh, you kind of know what to expect. And, you know, it's kind of that sort of same sort of element, right? It, the Switch is not the most powerful console out there. Uh, so it's to be expected that, you know, you're not going to have the sharpest, you know, most crisp visual fidelity. Um, that said, like I said, it didn't bother me personally, but maybe it's, you know, maybe it'd bother you. I don't know. This is the sort of thing that, you know, it's worth mentioning is subjective, right? At the end of the day, what one person is okay with, the other person might dislike, and what one person loves, the other person might hate, and it all comes down to personal preference. Now, you know, in terms of the experience that I had with this game and during, you know, my first kind of just over an hour of gameplay on the Switch, uh, like I said, I enjoyed it. Um, you know, everything looked solid to me. Uh, it ran decently. Again, it's not, you know, the highest frame rate or the highest visual fidelity that you can get, but it's not a bad Switch port. It works. It does what it's supposed to. And that's something that we can't say for every single Switch port that we've had, right? There's a lot of versions of other third-party games that have come to the Switch, and they're just hideous. This is not that. At least from my time with it, it's not that. It's it's It does what it's supposed to do, and I think that's the key kind of takeaway from this, right, is... If you're going to get the Switch one, you, you already know what you're getting into. You know that it's going to be 1080p in dock. You know it's going to be 720 in handheld. And you know they've already announced that it's 30 FPS. So you already know that. So the big question is, does it play as it should? And the answer is just a, a resounding yes, it does. Again, I haven't beaten the game yet, so keep that in mind. But uh, from my time with it, no issues whatsoever uh, in, in uh, you know, kind of my like I said, first hour, just over an hour of gameplay. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, I don't have any major complaints. Um, and like I said, I it's kind of what you would expect from a Switch version of a game like this. So all that to say, if, like I said, if you were already kind of wondering, if you are, if you're already kind of, I guess, on board with the resolution and the frame rate, if you were all already okay with that, and all you wanted to know is, you know, does it do what it's supposed to do, then I think this absolutely would just confirm that, yes, you should absolutely buy this game on the Nintendo Switch. You're going to love it uh, if you already know what you're getting into, right? Since it is my first time playing it, maybe some people wonder, okay, I'll, I'm just kind of curious for a last thing. What did you think of the game? It's a lot of fun, guys. It's a lot of fun. If you're if you've never played these games like me, and you're wondering, you know, is it is it fun? It, it's a lot of fun. It has some addicting gameplay mechanics uh, that just kind of makes you wanting to keep playing more and more and more. I had a hard time putting it down. So uh, if you're wondering that side of things, if you're kind of new to it, and maybe like you want to get on Switch because that's the only console you have, and you've never played it on any other platform because you don't own any other platform, um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Like it is, you know, like an RPG style game. So uh, you know, keep that in mind. If you know that's a genre you typically don't like, then maybe you won't you won't like it. But I still think that it's worth giving it a go uh, either way. And you know, who knows? Maybe this is going to be like the first RPG you get into, and it's just going to you know open up the floodgates for RPGs for you. Uh, so, anyways, near Automata on the Nintendo Switch coming out October 6, twenty twenty two. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I hope this give you gave you guys enough information to kind of take away from this. It works as it should. So go ahead, pick it up. Let me know if you enjoy it yourselves. So again, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a like. It really helps with the channel. Subscribe for more. And again, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll do my best to answer them. Until the next one, friends, game on. And thanks so much for watching.